<laughs> no, no, ignore, ignore the video. It's like one more student, yeah? All right, here comes my explanation. Imagine that I say it's a, it's a car fast. She's a woman tall. She's a woman tall. Es una mujer alta. It's a car fast. Es un coche rápido. Is this correct or incorrect? This is incorrect. This is incorrect. This is not right. This is wrong. So how can I make it correct? It's a fast car. She's a tall woman. First, the adjective. Second, the noun. Okay. Fast, car, tall, woman. Okay, for you to know. First, yeah, first, the adjective. Second, the noun, yeah? Tall, woman, adjective, noun. Fast, car, adjective, noun. So far, so good. So, what can I find the video? <laughs> All right, another one. Another sentence for you. Bueno, la primera lección. First, the adjective. Second, the noun. Yeah? Tall woman, fast car. Another one. Another sentence. It's a uh, old school. Another one. It's a uh, expensive hotel. Where is the mistake here? It's an old school. It's an expensive hotel. Aquí el orden está bien, ¿no? First the adjective, second the noun. First the adjective, second the noun. But is it right or wrong? Wrong. This is wrong and this is wrong. So where is the mistake? An old school. It's an expensive hotel, an old school, an expensive hotel. Why? Because the next sound is, what is this? A vowel. What is this? A vowel. So, an, an, an old school, an, an, an expensive hotel. Very good. Next. Next sentences. Imagine that I say, Ellos son estudiantes nuevos. How do you say that in English? Ellos son estudiantes nuevos. They are students, new or new students? They are new students. Uh, imagine that I say in English, Son ejercicios difíciles. They are difficult exercise. Exercise or exercises? One, exercise. Two, exercises. Yeah, esto lo hemos visto, ¿verdad? One, exercise. Two, exercises. Anyway, are these sentences right or wrong? Wrong. They are wrong. So, where is the mistake? In español, yo digo, son estudiantes nuevos. No, meto el plural en los dos. ¿Y aquí? They are new students. They are difficult. Exercises. So, what is the lesson? ¿Cuál es, cuál es lo que, ¿Qué es lo que hay que aprender aquí? The nouns are pluralized. Los nombres sí se pluralizan en inglés. One student, two students. One exercise, two exercises. But the adjectives, los adjetivos, nunca se pluralizan en inglés. New, new. Yes? Ya sea one student or two students, solamente new. 
ya sea one exercise, two exercises, three exercises, solamente difficult. Los adjetivos no se pluralizan en inglés. Never use the plural for an adjective, only for the nouns. Yep, so far so good? Okay, another one. Imagine that I say now, the coffee is hot, hot or cold? The coffee is hot. The coffee is hot. This is a positive sentence. Yeah. What verb is this? What verb is that? The verb to be. Fijaros que, ¿cómo diría yo? Es un café caliente. It's a hot coffee. When I start with it's, cuando empiezo por it's, digo it's a hot coffee. Y aquí tenemos el grupo formado por adjective and noun. First the adjective, the adjective, then the noun. It's a hot coffee. Pero por otro lado lo puedo decir de otra manera. Puedo empezar por the coffee. Yeah? Si empiezo por the coffee, luego puedo poner el verbo to be aquí. The coffee is hot. De esta manera, poniendo el, ver el verbo to be de por medio, sí que tengo primero el nombre y luego el adjetivo. ¿Pero por qué? Porque está mediando el verbo to be. En estos casos sí te encontrarás antes el nombre que el adjetivo, por la mediación del verbo to be. Yeah? The coffee is hot. This is positive. How do you make it negative? The coffee isn't hot. How do you make it interrogative? ¿Está el café caliente? Is the coffee hot? Is the coffee hot? How do I make the interrogative? Empiezo por is, por el verbo to be. ¿Veis cómo varía? En positiva, el verbo to be está aquí. En negativa, the verb to be is here. In the interrogative, the verb to be is here. En la interrogativa, el verbo to be empieza. Y fijaros esto. Esto sí que os puede confundir. Esto sí que os puede confundir. Is the coffee hot? Y aquí veis el orden... Aquí veis el orden, el orden incorrecto, ¿no? Coffee hot. Cuando hemos dicho que se dice en la oración, empezando por it, se dice it's a hot coffee. First, primero, el adjetivo, y luego, and then the noun. Hot coffee. Es así como se dice. Hot coffee. Sin embargo, en este ejemplo, con el verbo to be en interrogativa, veréis coffee hot. ¿Por qué? Porque es una estructura interrogativa. Is the coffee hot? ¿Está el café caliente? Yeah. Is the coffee hot? Verb to be. Subject. And in this case, this is an adjective. Yes. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, let's make another example. The last example. In the plural. In the plural form, we can say uh, the cars, the cars. The cars are fast. The cars are fast. This is positive. Negative. The cars aren't. Yeah? Aren't fast. Interrogative. ¿Son los coches rápidos? Are the cars fast? Yeah? Remember, the verb to be moves. The cars are fast. The cars aren't fast. And here, are the cars fast? Y aquí os encontráis con este orden. Cars fast. ¿Pero por qué? Because it's a question with the verb to be. 
Okay. And one more thing. One more thing. Thank you. Uh, again. Can I raise this? Yes. Question from Jose. En español es menos estricto el orden. Puedes decir, ¿son los coches rápidos? ¿Son rápidos los coches? Y no pasa nada. En inglés tiene un orden más estricto. En inglés el orden de positivas siempre es o siempre suele ser subject, verb, object. En este caso, an adjective. Subject, verb, object. Y en interrogativas, el in también es un orden más estricto. Es con el verbo to be. Con el verbo to be. Verb, yeah. Verb to be. Subject. And then object, in this case, adjective. Yeah, the complement. <coughs> complement of the noun, adjective. Yeah. Complement of the noun, adjective. Es un orden más estricto. The cars are positiva. Are the cars? Interrogativa. No como en español, que con que solo cambies la entonación, ya vale. ¿Ya? Los coches son rápidos. ¿Los coches son rápidos? Con solo cambiar la entonación, ya te vale en español. En inglés no. Tienes que cambiar la estructura. ¿Está fácil qué? Ok, the coffee is hot. Now, modifiers. Remember the modifiers? The coffee is... Very, very hot. The coffee is really, really hot. The coffee is quite hot. Yeah, quite hot. And then the same here. You can say the same here. Modifiers. The cars are very, very fast. The cars are really, really fast. Or the cars are quite, quite fast. Yeah. Modifiers, modifiers, yeah? That's their name. Their name is modifiers, modifiers. For more intensity, más intensidad, less intensity, menor intensidad. And this is the end of the grammatical explanation. Questions? No.